Okay guys, back on the boat this morning and it is really, really cold. What is it, about zero <laughs> degrees outside? Well, yeah, one. <laughs> too cold to, to be doing any laminating or... Too cold to be on the boat. Yeah, too, <laughs> too cold to be outside, really. Um, so we've got the heater on, so we've got our little diesel heater running, so we can get a little bit of heat in here, but it's too cold to be doing any sort of epoxy work, really. Well, certainly any polyester work, isn't it? Definitely, probably has to, yeah. So we're going to have to leave that bulkhead for now. We've got the bulkhead cut, but we're going to have to leave the laminating on that until it warms up a little bit. Uh, last time we got this porthole fitted, so that's sealed in now. So I think the plan for today is to get this one out. Um, we're going to replace that with a, a new liner and get that sealed in again with the uh, 295 uh, UV Sikaflex. And then I think what we'll also do is we've got two over here as well. We've got these are two brand new port lights actually that we bought on eBay, I think, didn't we? I think we did, Came yeah. from Germany. But um, if we get a chance, we're going to seal those in as well. well. I think we will. And then also we're going to have a look at the leaks that we've got up here. So we're still just getting just a tiniest little bit of water in this bucket, which we think is coming down the A pillar now. So that's that's fine. So what we'll do uh, is the same as before. We'll put the threaded inserts in here with the bolts and epoxy those into place. I think what we'll try and do is clean out the top of here with some acetone first, get it all nice and clean and dry, and then we'll be able to epoxy in those bolts. Luckily for us that port light was not too well fitted so it came out quite easily in the end. So what we need to do now is remove the remainder of the glass fibre that was used by the factory to hold the internal plug into place. notice here that I'm able to get the chisel down the back of the fiberglass and that's because they didn't key the hole before laying on this extra layer of fiberglass which is good for us um, it means that we're able to get this off quite easily and also shows that the bond is still quite strong even though it's not been keyed properly Okay, so that last piece put up quite the fight, but we got there in the end. So all we need to do now is just clean up the plywood core in this port light, and then we can switch over to the other side of the boat, pull out those two port lights, and get those two prepped as well.
So we managed to get this port right out, so just got a little bit of silicon on it. So we've come in and just cleaned this all up. This is nice and dry, we've just got the heat gun on it actually a little bit because it was just a little bit damp on the top. So we've just dried that with the heat gun and then cleared off all the silicon. Uh, and what we found is we've got the new liner here and we've just test fitted that quickly, but we just need to trim just a little bit off this corner here, just this back edge here and a little bit here. So we'll do that. And then we've also got rid of all of the original plug that was up on the hull here, it been glass to the hull. We've got rid of all of that. And then we've also done the same over here. So we've got rid of all of that along there. And then you can see we've just got that final bit just to pull off there. And then we've taken out both port lights here. And again, we've just got the diesel heater actually blowing uh, warm air onto the uh, little bit of ply core that there is there, just to make sure that that's nice and dry. We won't actually be using that ply core. I think in the factory they would have screwed into that, but we're going to use thicker flex. We're actually using a slightly deeper uh, port light anyway. So for us, it's kind of irrelevant that ply, but we just want to make sure that's nice and dry. So that should sort that out. So yeah, next just need to get this trimmed out and just test fit that new port light. So Richard is just coming in here with a small blade and just removing the silicon from around the port light and then what we'll do is give this a good wipe with acetone and we'll also clean the sleeve with acetone as well just to make sure all the surfaces are nice and clean and then we'll come in with some Sikaflex 295 and we'll apply a nice thick bead all the way around the port light rim and this should give us a nice seal against the hull. Hey guys, so the port light is in using the homemade port light fixing tool. So this is just holding the port light hard against the hull while the adhesive goes off. You can see we've got a nice bead of squeeze out adhesive here. And then what we'll do is we've, we've deliberately left a gap so that the ply core here has got time to thoroughly dry. And then we can come in afterwards and apply another bead of sealant and that'll be nice and watertight. And then over here, we've been drying out the ply in the core here 
with the diesel air heater and that's also now lovely and dry just wants cleaning up here so we can fit this port light now and then what we'll do is set that up to dry this ply in here and hopefully we'll be able to get that port light fixed Okay, so while Rich is just prepping that third port light hole, getting that all cleaned up, I've just come in and made another clamp. So we've got a clamp there so we can pull that into position. And so all I need to do now is just clean this with some acetone, get this nice and clean, and then we'll be able to bomb this final port light into place. Okay, so we've got all three port lights in. It's uh, dark now outside, so we've just managed to get 
that last port light in before it went absolutely pitch black on us. And you can see here, Richard's just come in and just put some temporary tape. This is just to try and keep the weather out until we can get the inner glass in there once that adhesive has gone off. And same over here as well. So these two just again, temporary tape, just to try and keep the weather out. And then we'll come in and fit the port lights properly afterwards. And we should hopefully have then a nice dry boat, which means that we've only just got the two fronts left to do. So we've got this one to do and this one to do, although they're not actually taking in any water at the moment because they're on the sort of hull sides where it slopes down. They largely get protected by the overhang of the hull. So they, they're not such a problem. So we'll probably leave those until um, later in the year. But um, yeah, that's going to be a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.